Thanks, Liam. Can we ever return to a new normal? That's the question students are asking as the semester comes to a close. A semester fully back in person, exhausting for many. Now we finally have an answer if next semester will be like this past fall. Another semester in the books and students are burnt out. Testing my patience. <laughs> I'm just like going through the motions right now. I'd say stressful. This was the first semester in two years that every student was back on campus and next semester should look no different. But our expectation as of today, and things change, but as of today, all signs are pointing that we'll be back in person in the spring in a very similar environment that we are in today. In-person classes are back, remote learning not an option. Newhouse Dean Mark Lodato says the switch from online to in-person learning led to added stress. But the flip side is, yes, there's a learning component to being back all in person five days a week. And so I think a bit of burnout is to be expected. Students are tired and not just because of in-person learning. The majority of students are doing a really great job of masking. There are some that, some that are just fatigued uh, and maybe aren't as diligent as they should be. The university is still in the red zone, meaning everyone on campus must wear a mask. Syracuse is expected to stay in the red zone come January. Vice President for the Student Experience Robert Ratsky says he doesn't see the guidelines changing anytime soon. It's going to help us, you know, get to a place hopefully where we'll be able to really relax, you know, the guidelines. But until we get to a point where, you know, we're seeing dramatic change in terms of transmission, I, I don't see things changing in the near future anyway. If the guidelines become looser, Lodato says it's still important to stay mindful of others. At the same time, we can't let our guard down because, as we all know, that threat still exists. Haratsky has just one message for students. One's choice not to wear a mask or to engage in behaviors that are unsafe affects the broader campus community. It's that team effort keeping students on campus next semester.